Vega loves his South Side home and built it with his own hands. He's lived in the Rose neighborhood for more than 55 years. The flats are, are uh, they're just not forgiving. That's why he's so determined to get a new bridge built across Rodeo Wash. It's one of 150 dip crossings in the city. Well, you know, we've lost 10, 10 people there. And upstream, we've lost one more person, which is 11 people, you know, in the last 50 years. Six years ago, the longtime homeowner joined forces with his neighbors and went to Pima County official Richard Elias and others to get the ball rolling. He also says these documents prove that a new bridge was in the works back in 2012. Then suddenly, everything stopped. We haven't got an official uh, a note why it hasn't taken place yet. Nine on your side reached out to Pima County about the situation. Those plans uh, were set aside because ultimately it would have taken property away from 11 different families and probably removed four of those families from their homes. And uh, that was just not something anybody was willing to do. But city engineers say the new watershed study is needed to find the right fit for the wash. We look at different things. So the amount of flooding that occurs there, if it's a very deep flow or fast moving flow. Also, if there's been occurrences like um, swift water rescues or other, you know, hazardous conditions that have occurred in the past, those are taken into account. Rodeo Wash is one of five on the list for the city to do a watershed study, but it will take three to five years to make it happen. And it's up to both the city and the county to split the bill for the improvements. Water does what it wants to do, and then we try and control it so that we create a safe haven for people to be able to live. And officials do say they plan to hold public meetings to get feedback on potential plans once those studies go into effect. All right, thank you, Chandra. Thank, right, thank you. you. All right. And we want to hear from you about your ideas. Keep, keep the roads safe in Southern Arizona. You can call or email us at saferoads at kega9.com.